What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you've gone to Disney World Galaxy Edge, you may have gotten one of these. What I have here is a set of the pop that they sell at Disney World's Galaxy Edge Star Wars exhibit, and I've got the whole set. So I went ahead and ordered these because uh, I wanted to check them out in the worst way possible because they looked pretty cool. What you can see here is we have Diet Coke, Coke, Sprite, in Dasani, and you might not be able to read what that says, but it is the Arudesh, someone might be able to correct me on that, but it's the most common language in the Star Wars universe, and I thought I would show you what you get when you buy pop in Galaxy's Edge. Now, I did a little bit of research on these things, and what's really interesting about them is that, obviously, the iconic Coke brand uh, is recognizable no matter what it's printed it. Even this Diet Coke, that's pretty obvious, but obviously the Coca-Cola in this swoosh, right? But even the Dasani, that's pretty obvious with that elongated S there. But there's a couple things that I like and don't like about this. And one of the things is that I don't really think of the Star Wars, I don't know, motif as being spherical. Now I get that BB-8 is a spherical droid and whatnot, but I actually would have thought the cylinder shape would have been kind of more Star Wars, like the rank cylinders and all that. It just kind of has more of a, a sharp look to me. And actually this bottle shape would have probably been more appropriate in my mind for a beverage in the Star Wars universe. But actually if the top and the bottom were straight, so the top and the bottom look like this, and then it had maybe this kind of industrial looking plastic cap on it. So uh, I actually kind of like this, but it's, it's all right. Now I actually heard that Coke was working with Disney for three years prior to Galaxy's Edge to kind of come up with something unique. And that kind of surprises me because this bottle right here, which I want to see if I can, oh, 13.5 fluid ounces, which is actually pretty big. And this is bigger than I thought, is basically a regular Coke can serving of a beverage. So 399 milliliters right there. I think uh, a regular pop can is what, like 12 or the high 11? Uh, fluid ounces and like 370 milliliters. Someone will be able to correct me on that. But what I thought is you might be getting gypped. You might not get as much Coke as you would or drink, but it's not true. I think these are just about the same thing. So from a value perspective, it's there. Now, I was a little surprised to see these spheres. Um, one, because they probably aren't that easy to pack and they're not, you know, I don't know, space efficient when you're packing them. They do have a dimple on the bottom so they won't roll away. You can put them on a flat surface and you don't have to worry about that. But a, a couple things that's going on with these things that I thought was funny is that they were talking about how unique they wanted to make these. But I think, and I ordered one, but I don't have it to compare yet. So when it gets here, I will absolutely compare it. But uh, a few years ago, maybe even 10 years ago or something, five years ago, uh, Coke came out with like a holiday bottle that was, I think, this bottle. And it was supposed to look like a Christmas ornament. And it just had a regular top like this on the top, but it was spherical like this, and they still have them, and I found one on eBay and I ordered it because I just wanted to really compare them. So I'll be doing that later because I think they just reused that. They didn't really come up with a new bottle. What they did come up with is this top here, and this is brand new, and you can see it definitely has, well, you know, uh, industrial look. It's just great plastic, but it looks pretty good, and actually kind of the imperfections in the way it gets injection molded or whatever kind of makes it look a little metal. It's got a little shine to it, but this looks very Star Wars-ish. Um, I would say that the other thing is it kind of looks like a thermo detonator, like that. Um, kind of looks like a hand grenade. So I wanted to see what they're like, and I'm just going to open this bad boy up here. Ooh, they're brand new. And take the top off, and you can see that is just a regular can top, but interestingly, it looks like the top is actually just a cover on the regular top. Now, I'm not sure if those are epoxied or glued or just pressed in, but that looks just like a regular uh, bottle top inside this housing, which totally makes sense, but there's no easy way without like pliers to get that out. So I thought this whole thing was molded, but now it kind of makes sense, especially when you need that threading in there. It's probably not a real easy thing to do. You can just manufacture this separately and then you don't and then, like I said, they reuse the holiday orb bottles and the regular tops. Now, there's a code in there if anyone wants to use it and get free stuff. Be my guest. You can see the vented openings right there. These are all hollow. So that's a close look at it. And then you have your delicious Diet Coke. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is that um, 
I thought when I unboxed these, wherever I bought them from, this thing was leaking. And it's not. You can see, I was like, oh man, the bottle's already punctured. But this like weathering, this age here, this staining, that's all printed onto the label. So it gives it a little bit of age. But you know, when I got it, I was like, oh, is it wet in the box? But it's not. See all that? That's like artificial aging and rust. And then I was looking at the Sprite one and it's got the same thing. And I was like, oh, the Sprite is clear. You know, so that wouldn't have done it. So then I realized it's just weathering, you know, little movie magic on the bottle. You can see here, the label's kind of clear, Sprite in Arudresh, Arudesh, whatever, in little holes, gets it a little weather. Even the label on the back is in that kind of funky font. It's not the standard thing. And they do a nice job of shrink wrapping it on there. I don't really see any massive wrinkles or anything. And then the Coke one, and this one is really the iconic one. You can put this out and people will know what it is. But you can see like the silver flash right in there. Kind of that undercoat that's peeking through on weathered paint effect. Get the Coke logo on there. Um, you know, just bright red bottle. What else would you mistake it for? So you get that. And then, of course, the Dasani, if you just want regular water. Again, this is going to be a little more traditional. But again, the font there is a little different. And the font back here is all a little different 20 fluid ounces so you definitely get a bunch i have no idea what that says so it's pretty cool if you want something to display you certainly can do it now i'm gonna have to drink that diet coke because i already opened it but i just wanted to show this to you i thought they're pretty funky i ordered some other stuff from people from galaxy's edge too it's just a little funny that maybe the most interesting thing that i wanted to check out was the pop they saw there Listen, if you want to pick up some Star Wars gear, memorabilia, toys, all sorts of good stuff, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out!